the walk progresses. I've just crossed a little brook there, a ford, from Shepherd's Coombe. There's Slaughterhouse Coombe going up there. And I've now joined Hodder's Coombe. And this will take me all the way back to Alberta now. The other side of the hill over there you get what's called the Holford Coombe. Uh, if you follow this track around to the right it will take you up Somerton Coombe. There's lots and lots and lots of coombs. Um, it's just right now the temperature, not too hot. I don't feel like it's going to thunder and lightning, put it that way, I just don't feel like it now. I did earlier when it started getting hot and the big black clouds. It's sort of broken up a bit. But like I say, because I'm in the wood, I don't I can't see those big black clouds swirling about. I knew that I'd feel alright doing this last bit. This is Holford. This is where I I say I feel my sister everywhere, but coming up to the next crossing of the fords. That's where I say goodbye to her when I, until I come again. I say to, goodbye to her, and she's, there's other walks I meet up with her. You know, but... I know we've both been here, so that's why I'm... I know she knows other parts of the Quantocks, so I'm not sure where, but I know she's been here. So, you know... There's a track that takes you up there. That'll take you up to Lower Hair Nap and Higher Hair Nap. The top track's up the top there. And if you go down the other side, you'll get to the Holford Coombe area. And that'll take you up to Dowbra Hillfort. Um, Dead Woman's Ditch. Great Wood and all right over there. I've still got quite a few little things I want to explore. and I haven't got around to it yet. So that, if you go up there, that, that's Somerton Coombe, okay? There's two forks. There's the first fork here, Somerton Coombe, Hodder's Coombe. Then you've got Slaughterhouse Coombe and Shepherd's Coombe. And this is the meeting place. This is where the fords meet. Um, don't expect them to be that full this time of year, but then again, we have had lots of rain. I'm just going to pile across here without too much worrying, because I'm... It's not as if it's the walk out. I'll do a little bit of balancing, but you can slip, you see, so. There we are. Like I said, if you go up there, it'll take you up to lower hair nap, higher hair nap. And there's a path up there that also comes back down where the car park is, which is also a nice walk. Well, that's, this is where I said goodbye to Jude on this walk. I always say she sits on that bank there and she says, oh, you've had a nice walk, Sheila, doing a bit of exploring over a bit Noller. I used to go over there and with Stuart and have um, tea and cake. And uh, I know that, that, that route. So I, always, I, too, I sort of feel sad now, I don't. I just hope this place stays. With all this climate change going on, who knows? <sighs> I'm going to turn off for a minute. Right then, the sun's coming out. It's looking quite nice, the, um, the old ancient trees. In the sunlight, no? No deer to say goodbye to me or until we meet again. I can hear the stream making its music as usual. This is the last video now. This is the last video coming down here on this particular walk on the 13th of August 2019. <clears throat> I've done a lot of video footage. I do a lot anyway because I just think, well, I, could something happen where, where I couldn't come out again or, you know, things like that. I need to try and remember every inch of this place. And of course, I've recorded all of this so many times, you know. Oh, I just wish a deer could just say, bye then, Sheila, till next time. 
I have seen deer up here. I'm going to have a nice packet of crisps and a cheese and a tomato when I get back to the van and my chocolate bar and I'll probably have a simple dinner tonight with some soup I feel good that I've been out it just got it done off heal me when I'm out here you know heals my spirit and my soul and you know, because of the worry I've got of, F, of um, others, the worry about how they're how they're coping and managing and that it just worries me so much. Because I feel hopeless, I feel powerless to do anything really in many ways. I've done what I can when I could, financially wise. All you can do is just say, look, I care and. You know, but that don't seem to be enough sometimes because you can't really do anything. Um, little things help, I know. <sighs> anyway, not to worry. Families do worry us, though. Like I said, my medicine, if you like, this is my medicine. This is my medicine, even though I'd been diagnosed with limes which is from a tick I don't know if I got it from here who knows but it, um, it was knocked on the head and when the next blood result came through I was clear because the powerful antibiotics got to work immediately killed the bacteria carried by tick doesn't mean I'm immune and it doesn't stop me getting bitten again you're not ever really totally safe but there's so many risks in life, isn't there? I do a little bit of uh, repellent, which I never used to want to use, you know. Um, don't know if it really works. i got a feeling it does. Keeps the gnats and flies off, definitely. In a couple of hours, I'll be back in my little flat watching EastEnders. Or having to catch up. I've got loads of programs to catch up on actually. They put too much on at the same time and it clashes. <sighs> Sometimes I don't even get around to catching up because it takes up valuable time. <sighs> time is precious. <sighs> this always, like I've said earlier, this, this part of the walk you think, oh you're back now. Once you get to the forward you think, oh you're back now. No, you ain't. This is quite a significant part of the walk. And it's also a place where you could have a farewell to a deer. They do um, hang about up there. You know, they do hang about. Well, I met today I, on the walk. I met a, rain, um, a ranger. Two rangers up on the, by the memorial trees wondering what to do because the cows have been eating the new saplings put up there for remembrance um, I didn't meet anyone else until I got to the village of Bicknola met a woman man in the shop where I bought an ice cream and a cake then I met a, a bloke on a horse I met him twice because um, he'd obviously gone down the village maybe Maybe to you know, have a cup of tea and tie his horse up, who knows? And then um, he came back. Once I'd done that big hill and I was right at the top, he passed me again. Uh, there was a woman really m moving fast on her horse. She quickly said hi and disappeared along the track. And then when I was walking through the coom not long ago, there was this lost looking bloke, actually. Um, can't quite explain it. He says he's never been here before. He was sort of wandering around. I just said, oh, if you go up there, turn left, you know. I just sort of gave him some a little circuit he could do. But he was singing. He looked, he looked underfed. He didn't look unhappy. 
Um, he wasn't totally scruffy. And he drives. Because he said his car was parked up here. Anyway. Apart from that, I've only met sheep. No deer have been to see me on this visit. They're all hidden well in the bracken. Like I said, I record as if this is the last recording. I'm trying to get every month of this year re uh, a few videos and pictures done, different areas. Um, I have got various missions I want to do. Um, I wouldn't mind going to Triscombe Stone area again and making my way to Ash Holt Church where I just before Jude passed I gave her a little book. It was Quantock Poems. I gave it to her. That was my last gift to her. I gave her back her rosary as well that I'd looked after for years. For some reason I had it. And um, I gave her back that. I still find it hard to believe. I can't believe it still. <sighs> anyway, I'm glad I've done all these recordings. They're all saved. They go on YouTube, Facebook. Stored to disk, sometimes memory card. They're in the clouds all over the place, and people follow and subscribe and, you know, share. A lot of people like them. I've got 152 subscribers to me. And there are all sorts of people people that do documentaries, photographers, loads of different people follow me um, and then I've got even more followers on the blog from all over the world and they like all sorts of stuff that I've done from family history stuff to my walks to my Somerset churches uh, where I my um, trips all around the country doing family tree good to share this. I like to watch other people's stuff as well. Look at their photos, hear their thoughts and reflections. Like I said, this is my healer. Right, we're at the roundhouse now, which I pointed out quite a while ago. The little dog there, look. He's in the oven. Collie type. There it is. It looks like it's out of coat of paint. Hello. There's like a stream there. The waterfall. I don't, know if the, I don't reckon the yurt's up there anymore, you know. Yeah. Hello. You friendly? Hope so. If you've got out, where's your leader? Hey, where's your leader gone? I can't let you in here because you might escape. Wait a minute. Stay there. In case you get out. There, hello. Where's you? You local? Hey, you local? <laughs> God, I hope you're not a lost dog because I can't take you home, mate. Do you want me to let you back in there? Is that where you live? Come on then. I'll put you in there because I don't know what you're doing out here. You might be long in here. Come on. 
you'd be better off in here. Let me just see where the gate is. There you are, go on. Goodbye. I'll leave him there because I don't know. Anyway, there's the waterfall there. Hopefully he does live here. He looked a bit lost. I presume that's where he's come from and he's probably crossed the stream somehow. Or <sighs> someone's dumped him. Could be. Yeah, just leave him in there. He's better off in there because uh, there's people there. Oh yeah, the yurt is still there. Maybe that dog comes from up there. See yet? Seen a woman just going in there. Over now, it's still a picture of the yurt. Uh, 